Hello, hello everybody out there in internet world. How are we doing? Hello everyone and welcome. Great to have you all with us. We are doing a two-player live playthrough of Inventors of the South Tigris. Obviously this is on Tabletop Simulator. Uh, let us know if our voices are too quiet, too loud or whatever. Or just right. Um, before we get stuck into it. I'm just going to have to move my screen a little bit. Yeah, I can see comments now. This might go crazy. We'll see. Uh, had some computer issues this morning. That was fun. So I didn't want to do updates for an hour, about half an hour before our live stream, but it's able to cancel. I feel like that's please. about standard. Whenever <laughs> yeah, a live stream is scheduled, the computer decides, no, nah, no, nah, today's yeah. not the day. <laughs> we need some major notes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, Matt. Hey, everyone. Um, yeah, so we are going to do a two-player, the four-round version, so um, buckle up. should be about a couple of hours, I think. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you've seen probably a bunch of content already, but this plays more about us showing how we play the game. Um, hopefully, we'll see how we go. Hopefully, show you kind of like the upper tier of like scoring and, and um, you know, overthinking to play well. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we'll still find out. Otherwise, it could be a complete fail and we all just, we both play terribly. We've got the folding needle and the luminous bowl already. The luminous yeah, so we've bowl. already done the setup. Um, in a two-player game, there is a dummy player, but it's really like not high admin at all. Just each round, all we do is we resolve one of these cards and place in, for this game, we've got pink influence and three of the guilds, three pieces of pink influence, I suppose. And then there's three worker placement actions which have been slightly tweaked. So two of them get blocked. And one of these three ones that costs one of each influence has an extra influence cost. That's just to simulate a little bit more blocking and interaction. But once we've done that, we don't control the dummy for the rest of the round. Uh, just the player that places their tent first will get to place a second tent to block the other player, which can be quite a fun decision. <laughs> <laughs> or mean. Um... Cool. We've got some nice, interesting setups here as well. This is pretty good for uh, research. The research thing plus the envoy. Pretty nice. All right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I'm going to have to try and play well and also show you what Sam's doing while he's playing. Um, so we'll see how, see how I go. Um, <laughs> right, should we kick into it, I guess? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Right. So I have randomly been determined as first player. So uh, Shem gets an extra coin. Um it is isn't a game where there's like a different number of turns, but being first gives you tempo on tent and other actions early. So there is a little compensation. With all of that said, I'm going to take my first turn and it's going to be a little bit of a filler turn, I think. I'm just going to um, move a die over to this workshop and gain some arrows or brightens. And I really want to bring both of these colored dice into play to give me more options for future turns. So each of them get rolled when they cross these thresholds. Um, so we've got a two orange and a six blue. And now I also get one pip that I can add to a die. Um, and I think what I'll do is I'll just add this to a four to make it a five. Nice. That's now me. I will spend half an hour thinking about my first turn. Um, it's always nice to look at what's available in the workshop straight away. And there's some pretty powerful tiles already out there for royalties, research, and bumping the craftspeople. Um, but what will I be doing? It is costly to use our ship with our worker though. So, um, all right. What else we got? Uh, well, I reckon that's... Matt asked the question, uh, sorry, is there any oh. work left to do in the game? No, no, there isn't. Yeah, this just is to finish playing. Done. Um, yeah. All right, I'm going to do a test. So I'm going to place a white die here in a test. I'm going to send out my blue six, which is... Pretty horrible for the other future tests. Gonna gain a blue influence when I place that blue die. And because I placed here, I've moved my ship two spaces, claiming this beautiful research tile. Mm -hmm. And it's because it's 10 plus, I'm gonna go top level for that one. Uh and yeah, that is me. Yeah, so I foresaw this coming. I really <laughs> wanted that dial. You want this one. But I saw that this this one now becomes possible. So that's why I brought both of these colored dice into play so that I was I could move two or I could move three. Um, and so I do, I will need a six gray now to test here because it needs to match or exceed the highest die that's on that board. So 
So I will need to make it a six. So I can discard this chair, um, which allows me to refresh my carpenter and um, add a pip to a die. And then I'm going to take the testing action to um, move my boat three. And it comes out here and I get to take this tile. Uh, now it's a bit of a decision where I put it. Um, it this doesn't require a color. Um, and I don't really have any gray dice. So I might actually come out here and make this one a little higher pip value to trigger. But it doesn't. it's not going to cost me anything to place it there. That's nice though, paired with this is the pre-printed craftsperson bump. Yeah, Basically exactly. four craftsperson bumps. I'll get a lot of... Yeah. Yeah. Can need some coin. Cool. Very nice. Um, I would like to get a gray die. I do have a gray die down here. So I can start doing this action. Um, I could just do a research straight away on the board, which might be smart. I've got to tell myself I am playing as blue because I never play as blue. Um, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think let's go for placing a worker. And I will go, go here. So I'm going to spend one um, orange, uh, blue influence and pay a coin. So I'll hang up with this straight into there. Pay my coin. And then I'm going to, to draw three of these. I'm just going to do them face up so even Sam can see them. So this goes nicely with the um, uh, worship tile. Yeah, it have. goes nicely. Blue dice. What you've got. Sam would probably like this. It's more craft person bumps. Craft person bumps. That's the official wedding. All right, I'll take that one. So this won't trigger itself, but it will trigger future um, research actions. That's me. Yeah, that's lovely. All right. Um... So I've got a strategy now around uh, raising the level of my craftspeople because of this workshop tile. And I also see that this luminous bowl has been tested twice, which means that the publisher will score two points for it immediately. So I think publishing this, um, which has a goal of having um, all of my craftspeople essentially high up, is going to be really beneficial. So I'm going to do that. Um, if I publish with a blue die, I do get one free Brighton. And this requires at least eight pips. So I'll send in nine blue pips. That's totally fine. And now I need to spend um, one coin to the bank, two coins for my scribe, so that's three, and one coin for another one of these uh, craftspeople, which are on the bottom. Um, so I've only got two coins. So I'm going to need to um, exhaust two of these, I suppose. And then I'm paying one, two, three, four. Uh, the reason I exhaust them is I can exhaust them for a coin discount. I might actually do it this way instead. Uh, cool. All right. So what that's going to do is going to allow me to slide this board along. Get your I gain uh, a royalties bump. Boom. And that's going to advance one of my craftspeople. So that will be the Tyler. And Some now I get focus. to brighten a die. From my blue. Uh, let's just bring one of these into play. Royce is enjoying your moustache, Sam. Yeah, <laughs> that's all that matters. All right, I was going to. Well, I've used my blue die already, so I can't trigger this particular workshop. <clears throat> I would like to get more black dice so that this is more possible. Um, so I could go out here. I could also look at inventing something. I uh, don't really want to test this because that's just giving Sam more points and it's hard to test anyway. So I think I'll use my worker again and this time go to the Black Guild, Charcoal. I'm going to discard one influence and a card. I think it'll be this card. And I'm going to do this action here. So I get a black die to my study, Charcoal die, you're saying that. I uh, get to gain my royalties and a coin. So I'm getting one bright and two coins and a black die. So get the black die, which destroys a white die, two coins, and a brighton. And I think I'll just bring out this particular die. Come on. Yeah, lovely. Five. That'll do. That'll do. It can be pretty strong to do these actions early game because you really want to try and get some colored dice um, kind of rolling around in your pool. I'm yeah. down to just two after testing. All right, that's cool. I've got some workers to use now. I have used both my camels, um, so I'm not super 
I don't know if I actually want to get another camel out. It seems pretty expensive. Uh, so what I might do is I might take a research of my own. Yeah, let's do that. And that's going to be three of these. I'll do the same thing that Shem did. Okay, yeah, this looks this looks like the play. Oh, nice. um, this is whenever I um, progress my tower, which I'm planning on doing a lot this game, I will gain a card and a Brighton. So let's do that. <laughs> Royce is asking if I'm listening to Zayo in the background. Not today. <laughs> I think that would probably come through the stream if I played it. So, <laughs> no. Some people I might not appreciate that. All right. Um, that's you. All done, sir. That's me. Well, I'll be taking my workshop action. So I need a 10 at least in the grey die. Charcoal, black, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I will gain a card. Let's draw one card. I will refresh one craftsperson. And let's just do... It's out there currently. They're both out there. Do the Tyler. Get two more coins. And then I can spend an influence to research. Which now I realise Sam's just done that research. So that was me not thinking ahead. <laughs> But that's all right. I think I got an early. I might just do it anyway. So I'll spin this one and put it there. It's going to cost me two coins though. But I get a coin Comes back. back with one coin. Yeah. So I spin one coin essentially. And that's my turn. All right. Uh, usually what you want to do with your workers is kind of take some of these powerful actions where you spend influence and get a lot of stuff back. But I just don't really have the influence to burn. And I do quite want to. Like, I do want to use this guy. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to place this worker here. I'm going to pick up a card first. And then I get to refresh a craftsperson, which has to be my weaver. It doesn't have to be, to but be. I would love right. it to be my weaver. <laughs> <laughs> and then I gain a pip. Um, so this is nine over here nicely. So I might apply that pip there. That's me. Cool. All right. I have... No workers, one camel, and some workshops. Uh, at this point, I'd be looking at either testing, which I could just do one more test. Oh no, that won't get me. Won't get me far enough. I want to get to the end. Um, and this would be I built this devices I've both invented and published, which at this point is kind of risky doing that one straight away. Um, so I'm probably looking at inventing. And in my hand, I do have something I like. So this would go well there or there. Although the discards are really high on these two. And that one doesn't match influence. Neither of them do for this one. So that's kind of brutal. Um, so I could bring out some more dice. Which is probably a play to get my orange die out. So I'll just play a one into here. And I'm going to get two Brightons. I don't get this effect because it's not blue. Um, I could go up and out. I think I'll go here and get a card. That actually gives me what I need for the next action. And then I'll bring this die out as well and roll it. And for the pip change, make this one or two. That's me. Radio. Okay, I could be really greedy, but I don't think I'm going to be really greedy. Just a little bit greedy. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was thinking, you know, because you were saying that you're going to take another action, I was thinking of placing my tent now, but I, I really don't want to miss out on this. Yeah. And you could still deny that. So I'm going to discard this telescope here to refresh my Tyler and to gain a pip. Uh, and then I'm going to take this workshop action where I spend a coin I'm going to spend uh, exhaust this so, whoops I'm going to exhaust the uh, Tyler that I just flipped for the coin and then my weaver levels up and I get to level up two others um, well I'll level up the blacksmith and let's also level up the Tyler and then I also get to take this action here I think I'm actually going to take an orange influence rather than another level up. Having one of each is and nice. This, yeah. And then I will uh, progress the tower. So that's going to give me uh, one refresh of a craftsperson, but it's also going to trigger this research, which I had. True. Um, 
So let's just refresh the Weaver in case I want to somehow do it again. Uh, and I get a card and I get to advance a die, brighten a die. Cool, that's me. Nice. All right, so I was going to do this device. I can either get an orange and blue or just two blue. I think we'll put orange and blue. Um, so I'm going to use my five orange. I'm going to invent the, uh, well, let's go theme, for theme, eh? Robotic door or trick door? I think trick door. So this will be played down here. Um, to do this, I have my five plus. Uh, because, well, before I actually play this card, I can draw a card because I've played an orange, just to be sure. It's very similar, actually. Um, in fact, it's kind of better. Yeah, let's, uh, let's play this one down the step. Uh, and that's going to be cost me two cards. So I'll throw out these two cards. Teach you students weird thing. And it gets me one orange and one charcoal influence. And we'll put those up there. Well, gets me one royalties. So I get to increase a craftsperson. And let's do the blacksmith because no one wants the blacksmith currently. And then place one of my yeah, nice. invention tiles. And let's go for the die early on. Cool. And that is me. Yeah, awesome. Um, okay, yeah, now I will place a tent. Um, and there's some good options here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my tent here, which will immediately allow me to discard a card to advance my boat. I thought you might grab this one. Um, I, I could grab that one, you're <laughs> right. Um, I think I'm, I'm wanting to kind of manipulate my dice so that I, d I don't need to use two dice on like this action here. Yeah, um, true. So now a six. Now a six will trigger that action with the plus three here. That will cost me a coin. So I will um, exhaust my blacksmith. And then I get to place this this pink tent. And there's a few really good options here. Um, I'm not going to block the research because there's no research available. I think I'm going to actually block the uh, black guild because it scores the most points at the end of the game. That's fair. Um, Cool. That's me. All right. And for me, I'll also be tenting. We both get our camels when this wins as well. Yeah. Um, and I actually want this one because I can increase two crafts people. So I can raise yeah, that these, was a good one too. these bottom two. And just like Sam did before, I get this refresh, plus I get a card and a Brighton. So yeah, we both got it. Yeah, lovely. And the Brighton, I think I'll just push my charcoal die up and get a coin. Uh, and that is the end of the round. So now we go into um, these end round steps. The scripting is going to do steps three to six. So Sam and I just need to determine who's first player, then Brighton our dice. Do you have any of those effects that bring dice back? Uh, no. Didn't use it. Well, I do, but I didn't use it. Yep. All right. So... You and I will remain first player because I've got the leftmost tent. That's right. Yep. Um, and you know, brighten our dice. So these come out. This one I can either send up. I don't need to refresh, so it's going to come out. And maybe it be influence. These two come out. And then I'm all done, Sam. So yeah, same. Confirm. It does a big old reset. Our tents go up, which opens up my fourth camel. I have too many camels this round. Find out. And then Sam's doing the dummy stuff. So I'll move the ship three spaces. One, two, three. And you're doing all the juggling around that stuff. It's weird. Sent it up there. Oh. All right. And now we do income. So we're both getting one coin and one Brighton from the royalties track. Both Sam's, yeah, getting the same as here as well. So both getting two coins, oh. one Brighton, and one Craftsperson. My income is pitiful. Well, you've got a lot of money because you took that uh, black influence action. And you also didn't publish. Yeah, last I round, hadn't so spent many coins last round. Looking good any. economically. One Brighton. I get to, I've already advanced this person. Yeah. Yeah. Do I just want to push it up for the influence? I think I'll bring out my orange. No, actually, grey. Okay. Cool. 
Gino is asking about the playing time for this solo versus multiplayer. Um, I think solo might actually take longer because well, it did for me in my playthrough because I was talking a lot. But um, in a way, you kind of like you're thinking not for two players, but you're, you're more involved than you would be by yourself in a two player game. Yeah. Um, yeah. This will probably a, be a little bit of downtime time. can be nice for you to kind of plan your next move. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it probably goes faster in that way with two players. Yeah. I think our games are usually about 90 minutes when we play two player. Yeah. Um, cool. I think I'm good to go. All right. I think I'm actually just going to do my marquee action right here. <laughs> um, this five can become a six because it is determined. You can increase one. And now because I've got this plus three here, the six is enough to trigger this action, uh, which is pretty nice. Um, I've only got two coins. So I will be using those two coins to pay my weaver. They're going to level up and then i get to bring two with the weaver so it's going to be these two and that's going to allow me to progress the tower which gets me a colored die to my study and it's going to get me a card and a brighton the brighton will be this uh, charcoal die need that money yeah exactly and the final trick will be to I, I, I'm kind of torn. I could be <laughs> advancing craftspeople even further, but they're already starting to get like really expensive. They're all at the two coin level. So I'm, I'm actually just going to put an influence down. Um, and that's going to go here. All right. That's me. I think I will build this trick dial. Um, so I'll need a eight charcoal action oh it doesn't have to be charcoal actually only if i want refreshes uh but i can achieve an eight so i'll do an eight let's do the six and the two um you pay tyler the weaver and the channel which are all worth only one coin to pay one two three and we'll just use coins and then i mark that i built it i'll be getting a colored die and I think I'll get a blue die because the trick dial wants it. Um, and slide board. Because I used a charcoal die, I get one refresh. So let's refresh the uh, Chandler. Cool. Fantastic. Uh, now, all of my, I've got actually a hard decision, but. All of my craftspeople are uh, inactive. So this feels like a pretty efficient turn to spend one of each influence. I think I can move them into that. Yep. They come home. Beautiful. And I get a card and I refresh all of them. Ah, <laughs> the <laughs> most refreshing action in the game. <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, so I have my trick dial now ready for testing. If I wanted to get to the end, one, two, three steps. Need a black however when i get there i get to refresh a workshop and i haven't got any used workshops yet so what i might just do is put a well oh, i've got this option too hmm even this is quite good too there's some good options that would go nicely there. I feel like I might have a dice focus this game. So there's a few different things I could do about this. I think I will discard this card for the Brighton and bring out my orange die. Also get a pip up for that. Um, I'm going to increase this two to a three. And then I'm going to use this three, which can go up to a four because it's indetermined. And use this action just to bump up my blacksmith one space. Um, doing so will let me get a die, and it's going to be a blue, no, a charcoal die, which goes here. Um, and progress the towers. That's me. Nice. Well, I've got two really good options here. Um... I think what I want to do first, 
Ah, uh, this is tricky. The timing is a little I should confusing. Say, no, no, this is tricky. <laughs> <laughs> the trick dial yeah exactly all right i think i've decided that i'm going to test my own device um so this inspired orange die can become a six so i bring it out here i bring a white die into to this camel blocking that spot this will give me an orange influence and it will allow me to move one space um, and because i move to this spot we get to reveal and see what is out here and that's going to refresh good for me if i want colored dice and gain one die into my dice pool, which I will roll straight away. Cool. Cool. All right. Um, and for me, I think I want to invent, maybe, maybe not. It's tough. Um, all right. Let's go for, could be a six. That's not high enough. Um, oh man, torn between using my orange die for a certain different reason. Um, hmm. Okay, overthinking now, overthinking. Uh, let's go with a worker action out here, I think. I'm just going to go here, draw a card, get a refresh, and one pip. So I'll draw a card first. Um, I will refresh the Weaver and increase the pip. This can become a four. Done. Fantastic. I'm a little concerned about my income. I'm kind of running around with no coins. So I think an invent action is going to be good just to get me to this uh, next threshold. And I actually have a very sensible thing to uh, invent unlike some people's <laughs> trip dials. Um, so I'm using the seven out here and I'm gonna invent the wind powered flute, which seems pretty good to me. I am only getting one influence out of it, which is the black for the link. I do have to discard one extra card. Um, so that's gonna be this one over here. And then that's gonna advance my royalties one space. And I get to place one of these down. Um, that's a tricky call. I love coins and I don't really have many cards, but I also like the thought of getting some more colored dice rolling around. So let's put that there in case it gets built. Nice. Uh, that is me. All right. Um, I was going to not do that because that's be stupid. Uh... I'm going to invent the robotic something. So I'm going to use my orange, draw a card, and I think I want to stick with the door. Yeah. I have to discard two cards, which is both my cards. I'm getting two blue influence. One, two. And I get to move my royalties up one space. And Let's just go for cards and I get to um, raise one craftsperson, which would be someone who's not out there probably, the, the carpenter. And that's me done. So I want to take a worker action and I'm kind of torn between a greedy line going for this and just bumping my craftspeople more um, or playing for some econ and, and gaining some coins out of it. Um, it's tricky. I do already have a black die in my study, so maybe I'll go greedy. Go greedy. It's going to cost me a coin. Yeah, I'm going to go greedy. I might regret it later. Oh, I don't know if I That's can afford the, the coin. <laughs> yeah exactly all right let's let's just go with this and see what happens my strategy always revolves around sam misplaying so we'll see <laughs> i'm actually going to exhaust my chandler here uh instead of spending the coin yep and then i get to gain a blue die to my study and uh, advance to craftspeople so yeah it will be the chandler and how about the carpenter you get a raise nice Hey, Brothers Move. Getting some valuable work experience. Brothers Move, join the chat. 
Hey, hey. We'll see how we do it. Um, well, man. See how I struggle and burn my brain. Uh, I could do another build. I mean, it wouldn't be bad, you know? I think I actually will. Although, hmm. I don't know, I could do that one. Yeah, so if I build the robotic door, that's these three, which is six coins. So I'll spend five. I should probably put down some dice first. Eight plus. Um, that's going to be a problem. Uh, so I want to save my grey die. I do have one here though. So maybe I will just use my grey die. Let's do it. Um, that can become a six. I need eight. It can become a two. And I'm going to build this. I can refresh someone. Uh, I think I'll refresh my Tyler. And then pay six coins for these three. And that's five coins from here. And one coin from exhausting my carpenter. So I've built the robotic door I get two cards and use some is that features. like the first automated door Bro. yeah that's exactly what it is you're ahead of your time man mm -hmm. for sure started with a lame trick dial but now i've got a robotic here's door. me with wind powered flute you know <laughs> not very inventive all right uh that's me done i think i built something awesome. so it's not looking too good for the home team in terms of the dice pool um but because I got to refresh this, I think I'm going to go for my my strong action rather than using a camel. Um, it's usually a little sad to not use all your camels, but Seriously. you know, um, I am going to I'm going to do this instead. Uh, so two coins are required here. I'm going to spend one, and then I'll exhaust the uh, let's exhaust the carpenter. Oops, I had those. Uh, cool, and then I get to advance that guy and these two. Which is going to do another advance. Um, the carpenter will go up a level as well. And then I get to progress my tower, which gives me a card and an arrow. Oh, actually, this might be a play. I could bring this gray die out. I'm going to do that with the arrow. And then I can trigger this. And again, it's a hard call between the influence or... The, the last advance. I'm going to actually keep taking influence here. That is me. Matt's saying that the wooden power flute is just a flute. But I think it doesn't require a oh. flautist, right? It's just, it plays itself in a way. I mean, when you say it's just a flute, that's, that's you know, a bit disparaging. <laughs> I think uh, it's great in its own right. I guess you still got to play the fingers, but you don't have to blow into it. Um, <laughs> it's a lazy flute. All right, I am getting distracted and not doing what I was meant to be doing. Classic. I think I just want to bring some dice out. Um, but then using this again, it's kind of lame. I don't know if I need my worker, though. Or, ah, that's a dumb idea. I do have a bunch of influence. What I could do, though, is... Go here. I'm going to spend an influence and then pay one of my craftspeople to basically get the orange die and three cards. I should really have some tech that gives off dice, eh? And the orange die is going here. That goes away. And I have to pay someone for that. Um, which, actually, before I played those cards, I should have actually paid for the action. So if they're getting paid, it's one. And then I have to use, let's say, this card here. Which actually, that's kind of a good card for me this card here um, to basically refresh the weaver and then use the weaver my second coin um that's me i think yeah got my cards three new cards and my orange die spinning my way i'm looking over at what you want to do this round I, I just don't know if you're actually doing this i don't know either at the moment there isn't any spots for them it's true but if I do a particular move, I will open up a spot. But you're so far behind there. Ah, uh, okay. There are two things in my mind. I'm just oh. going to tell people what's in my mind. I'm and then, you know. I just felt to this. So. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Carry on. Uh, and you get the card and the Brighton too. Oh, that might change things, actually. Oops, that that's, the dropper. that's the dropper. Yeah, the Brighton's pretty huge, eh? Um, I think it needs to be... 
Oh man. Oh, um, it's gonna be the orange die, I think. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna tell everyone what I was thinking. There were there are two options. One of the options is actually to test Shem's uh, trip dial with my black, and that's gonna allow my ship to move ahead three. Take this and. The key thing is that it frees up a research slot. Then, if I'm lucky enough to place my tent here, normally you wouldn't say this in a multiplayer game, <laughs> then I would be able to place a research Good down turn. on that spot, and that would trigger uh, this turn. So that's kind of the thing I'm thinking about, but I am testing my opponent's uh, device, which will Brilliant. give a point at least. My friend and opponent. Um, or what I could do is I could just tent now, and... Now that he knows what I was planning on doing, I might just do that. <laughs> uh, so, wuss. No. Yeah, I know. I am a wuss. I'm going <laughs> to place this here. And I'm a little bit jealous that you're keeping up with me. So I'm going to block off this spot. Um, That's fine. I really want some more colored dice in my dice pool. So I'm going to gain an orange die here. That removes a white die. And then I get two brightens. This is not bright in England, though, of course. Yeah, so they can um, <laughs> And cool. then I'll refresh. Yeah. All right, I'm going to do a test um, with my orange die. And I can test either of these. Sam doesn't seem to have a preference. It's got more blue dice, so let's go here. And go here and move my ship two spaces. Grabbing this tile, and I'm going to be paying a coin, I think, by refreshing a card first. So let's just use the weaver again. Basically, refresh, oops, refresh, then tap it back for the coin cost. That gets me a die. Let's just go orange again, I think. Or blue. Let's go blue. And it's going to go straight into here, destroying this die. Uh one thing I missed, sorry, was that when I placed my tent, I had one camel that I didn't use, so I get a brighten and a refresh. Cool, cool. All right. That ended up mattering because now I can actually place this in here for some much needed money. So I gain a card, I gain two coins, and I gain a refresh. Matt's asking about the words we use for the devices. Um, I basically made a massive list of like what the things could be. Um, it's even hard to get to like 40 things. And then it was a list of all the adjectives which might relate to a device, um, like robotic and wind powered and resonating. Um, but the favorite one of mine is the um, fragrant, because that just goes so well with yeah. anything, like a fragrant door. And, um, and horse powered is ridiculous yeah, as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's like three things that it works for, and the rest are kind of just troll. So it was more about like what can, what words can we use to make you know sensible de devices, but then in playtesting, like these are just ridiculous. This would never exist, but it's kind of the, that's kind of the game, right? It's it's about these yeah. weird devices that didn't need to be invented, but they did. I mean, some were useful, but most of them were kind of funny. And... All right, uh, off, yes, I think I might be ditching my entire hand. Just about you do this, maybe. But it seems fun, so I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna throw. Oh, this is so risky. Throw my hand, um, just to get one brighton. It's gonna be this charcoal die. Come on, roll well. You're wanting a six. That's Five's good enough good for enough. me. Yeah. I need to throw one more card just to get to a ten total. So we'll throw black one. Oops. Beaker. Refreshes this, makes this into a six. Now I can do this. I draw a card. Yeah. Oops. When there's a will, there's a way. Actually, I'll do the research first. Um, so I just spin an influence. Let's go from blue to here. Draw three of these. It's the old reveal. All right. So charcoal dice. I do want charcoal dice, but I also already have three of them. Bit late. Testing. Maybe, I mean, maybe the camel one. Oh, if that one had come out, which brought back my colored dice, that would have been amazing. Um, and then Brighton's just can be quite good as well. Uh, 
I'm not sure if I'm going to go heavy into testing. So I might just go with this one. Yeah, versatile. Got to try and remember that my camels are always plus two. Uh, and then the second part is get two coins, refresh someone and draw a card. So I will refresh my scribe. Cool, that's me. And fantastic. So the action I'm going to take now, I just gained this money and now it's burning a hole in my pocket. <laughs> I am going to pay um, my Chandler. And they're going to level up to reset this. Oh, that's me. All right. I could get this blue die out and use this, but it's going to get a lot of brightens that aren't that useful. I'm going to be basically using everyone just to pay for this action. So I think I'll just slip that one and I will tend as well. All right. So Sam did leave this one open, which I did like for this. Um, or even refreshing like that so that you've got more arrows for next round is pretty nice too. <laughs> yes. I might listen to you. Um, oh. Yeah, maybe. That means I don't have to stop next to you. Eh? Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. But you're just talking about this one though, aren't you? Oh, go for it, man. <laughs> it's pretty late, right? Yeah, it is, good timing. It is good timing though to get that one. Yeah. So I will ditch a card um, in order to move my ship one space, which triggers this. I can bring these dice back into Exhausted. Hey, who said that? Faraki. <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. And that is me done for the rest. Cool. That's the end of the round. So we brighten our dice. And I might want that refresh. I might just push this one up. Get a refresh of good old Weaver. I'm doing a greedy, keeping both of these in my study to the top because I like what both of them offer. An influence and advanced. So you need to pull person. these dice back manually. Yeah, that's right. And then we can push uh, the button when you're ready. Craft person. Okay, let's go, Mr. Blacksmith. And then these people come over here and they're going to roll. Fantastic. Button time. Push it. Do it. Right. Oh, that's what Shout out to GC2, who did the scripting for this. Very fantastic job. Yes, it's pretty awesome. Um, we've got our extra worker for the next round. Now we're going to do this thing. So the ship's going four spaces. One, two, three, four. It seems juggling everything else around. I am the first player. Yeah. That's one thing we didn't actually look at. But You are. The leftmost tent. And now we do income. We're both on the spot here, getting one Brighton and two coins and sam and we'll oh, run the same one there too Bring, bringing both of these out one two three four and two brightens yeah um do i need influence not desperately i think we'll just bring out two more colored dice put them in there and then we're good to go How does Sam roll double sixes? Yeah. Uh, the the secret is you press the R button, and then when it's midair, you press six. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although you'll see it slam into the table when you do that. Uh, it'll look a little so like this. Oh, oh, so <laughs> a little bit janky. All right. So, yeah, there's some... I don't actually do that, There's the some way. competition going here for, like, the tempo on testing versus researching. Um, one thing I did forget, Sam, when I did this one, was to get my coin. Grab yeah. your coin, man. Grab I've got it coin. so many times in my solo play, you know, got to make up for it. Well, this seems like a good first action right here. So I'm going to use my blue. I'm basically going to get three Brightons, pip, a refresh. Use my craftsperson first. So one, that, pay two coins to get a die. And let's just try and keep things balanced, get an orange die. And then I'm getting a refresh of someone. Um, it'll be my Chandler. And I got three Brightons. So there's some big choices here. Because it's influence on offer and everything. Um, but I think we might push this one up to get a card. That's one. And then I think 
Oh man. Might push this one up to get. Well, actually, no. I'm just going to push this black twice. That's what I'm going to do. And get a black influence. Charcoal. I keep saying black. And then a pip increase. Charcoal. Let's make this three. Oh, actually. Yeah, let's make this three into a four. Done. We should just call it the barbecue guild, right? We've got all the charcoal. Yeah, that's going right. On. Okay. I'm I'm still really like poor. And now to do something like a build action is going to cost me a lot. But I think I still want to do it. Um, I want to. I do want to build this wind powered flute because I'm hitting this action all the time. My weaver will get to the nine spot easy. Yep. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just looking over at Shem's crafts people just oh, to dear. plan my next action as to how I go ahead with this. I think I want to exhaust everybody when doing this action. I might be forced to anyway. So a ten is required. Eleven pips will do it. I'm not going to use a great eye here. Um, instead, I get um, so I'm going to pay my blacksmith, my tiler, and my weaver. That's going to cost six coins all up. I've got four coins that I can pay, and then I can flip scribe and carpenter to inactive for the final two coins. I'm going to place my influence here. I'm going to slide board. Get a die, and that was going to get me a die to my study. Which I think gray die is good for getting coins, but orange die, when it comes into the top, um, will advance a craftsperson. So I'm looking at that. And I'm not sure if I removed the white die. Sorry, team. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have already, because I should be at 12 dice. Cool. And then I get to trigger this effect, where I can... Um, Exchange one of my dice for a different color. And let's grab a black six, because that was already a six. Progress tower, brighten the die, huh, and get a card. So I get two cards. Boom, boom, boom. That was insane. Madness. All right. I like the idea of going out here with a worker. This has been expensive the last two rounds. So I'm going to go here, spend one of each influence to move my ship. And get a coin. Oh. And just gonna hop here. Sam could research in this space, but I don't care if he does. Um, this is gonna cost me two coins to put it here. I don't care. Cost me two coins because it's two ahead. Um, but it does get me a card. And now I know this die is gonna come back into determined, which is great. And that's me. I'm trying not okay. to use my colored dice basically to move my ship. So, once again, all of my craftspeople are very tired. And you have no money. Your cards. And I'm thinking that this is the play. Um, although you don't really want to do it right away. Yeah, I do. So it's possible. Maybe you do. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I just got to do it, I think. So let's do it. Oh, yeah, influence. The one. That's costly. Yeah, gets me a card. It is costly. It's a lot of influence. But it's going to what you uh, want, right? I need it. Yeah. He needs it. All right. Well, Sam didn't take it, so I'm going in. Um, I'm going to use my playboard to do it. And what is. Yeah, I'll do it. All right. So I'm going to use this as a six. And I need another four. So let's grab this one. I will just do this, that stuff first. Grab a card, grab two coins, and a refresh. Let's refresh the Tyler. And then spend an influence to research. So let's spend the black influence and see what we get. I'm going to get a coin for this. Let's grab that now. And this is ability when resting. I got this in my solo play, and then it was once or twice I couldn't use it because I couldn't afford to, which is always brutal. Um, Cards are nice. Looking so wealthier influence. this game, though, perhaps. Yeah. Hard to I might go for the influence. Yeah. Fair play. Cool. That's me. Yeah, I think I'm going to test this. Uh, there's a lot of options here. 
uh, but I think I want to test this wind-powered flute. Find out that it fails. It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so let's bring a white die in there. I get to move my ship three along. And this these coins look quite tasty. Just got to slot it in here. And that's me. Cool, cool. So if I want to pay, there's re more research available. And it could be kind of worth it, maybe. Um, That's why I moved three, <laughs> to make yeah. this. I don't know, I ain't going to do it. Um, hey, Paul, good to have you here. Uh, hey. Um, do it, do it. Pay the three coins. Yeah, I'm intended by this one, to be honest. If you pick something nice, I could jump in as well. That would cost research. me five, basically. Two, then three more to go here which I can afford, so maybe I'll do it. So I'm going to spend this orange influence. I'm going to pay a craftsperson, um, and it'll be my blacksmith, pay two, two, and then I'm paying another three because I have no control um, to research way out here, which it gets me a what coin you, back. What are, you, what are you hoping for? I don't know. I'm just doing stuff, man. Pushing <laughs> buttons. Who knows? All right. Is that what you oh, want? Oh, that is pretty nice. good. That's basically a free tile from behind me. That is really nice. It synergizes with this. Oh, that's tempting. And I am trying to like get tiles and test without using my colored dice, so this actually helps a lot. So I'm gonna do it. Oh, the bait was too strong. All right, that's <laughs> me. It was Sam. strong. Okay. I got kind of got two options here with this orange die. I could go in to test this wind powered flute again, because I actually quite like this. It slots into this top row really nicely. Does. So I think I'm actually going to do that. So coming in with a six. It does mean that testing this, the last level, will be a little harder. Um, but that's okay. It's going to give me an orange influence. And it's moving my boat along one. Which <laughs> allows me to take this. Slots in here for no cost. And I get an arrow. Which I can then apply to this orange die. I think that's the play. Ooh. Oh, who the heck am I gonna up. do? Um, got all my camels available and barely any dice. Um, hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Should do some camel stuff. Probably inventing is what I want to be doing. Um, so this is nice, but also. No, that's not that good. If I know, I mean, the same will probably build it. So it's a way of baiting him to give me a bit of a benefit. Can't do it this round. I don't have money and I don't <laughs> have camels. Uh, I think. Oh, I might go for the spinning. The deciding factor is that I can do a six because of my research. So I'm going to use my orange die. Oh, yeah, nice. To go here. I'm going to do the spinning. And Orange die gets you a card, which you could draw straight true. away. That's true. I'll draw the card Pot first. Um, potentially inventing that new thing. Either of these two is good. I know Sam probably wants this, but he also might want that one. Um, oh, but also it's about what I might want. So let's throw down the funnel. The spinning funnel. That sounds very dizzying. <laughs> <laughs> I'll throw out this card. And then get two orange influence. Drop it in there. Get a royalties bump, which gets to be a craftsperson bump. Bump, bump, bump. Bump the tiler. And put down one of these tiles, which I think we'll just do one as bit of one so the points get unlocked. Let's go here, I think. Cool. Done. Fantastic. Cool. Well, I need some econ, so I'm going to place a charcoal die over here with the one that is a seven it's going to get me a can i even handle a card i've got seven cards i'm good i can handle one card um and i realize now it gives me a refresh which i can't use i'm not going to wreck on it but that was just a misplay and then i get one influence in the barbecue guild <laughs> cool nice <clears throat> i've still got tons of camels to to use i could invent again which is Probably what I'm going to be doing. Just smash the nut now while I can. Um, 
So let's go inventing a resonating something, uh, I think. Yeah. That's barbecue my... because it's charcoal. That's that's the joke. And we'll go here. That's just two cards. Do it. It's going to get me two charcoal influence. Got to use the terms, man. Gets me another royalties bump. And put down another tile, and this is what I want, is the Brightons. So let's chuck this down, get three Brightons immediately. And I do have one more camel slot left. How much influence showing up? I think. Oh man. It really is useful right now. Not really. Let's bump. That's one. And then let's go to and keep our options open. Bring out a die. Three. Cool. That's me. Jim, you're role playing as yourself, inventing up a storm here. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. It's the name of the game, man. All right. So I'm kind of running low on dice, and I still haven't done my favorite action. See, the problem is I really should have been putting like more tiles in here so that this action becomes even more powerful. But I've gone for a more balanced approach. Um, I am going to discard this flask for an arrow. And that's going to bring this orange die into play. And I get a pip. Which is just going to go to this blue die, I suppose. And then I can use any of these colored dice. Sadly, the color doesn't do anything for me. But I need them for their pips. So which one, which influence do I need more of? I need blue more. So I'm going to keep blue hanging around. And I'm going to use this charcoal die. Three coins this time. It's getting yeah, costly. Yeah, it is three coins. It is getting costly. Yeah. So I'm going to spend my two coins. And then one from someone else. I've got a lot of cards, which is the positive. And then that allows me to advance two. One. Two. And I think this time I am going to go for the third advance here. Uh, the, that's worth it yeah so i'm going to do that which bumps my royalties along one which will advance another individual chandler again because he's not active and then progress the tower gain a card and gain one arrow or a brighton cool we're oh, leveling up right. yeah man you're fast and your ship soon like two behind you on that or well, almost one uh all right so my options hmm i could test let's check my dice counts i got two orange three charcoal two blue i really want to have like four of each essentially to score these well um so i don't want to burn my dice too fast <clears throat> but also testing still worthwhile so with that in mind let's test yeah so i'll take a white die i'm going to use my black over here test this one move three spaces just before i do that i'll double check i can afford i can all right go here and grab this tile i'm going to pay a coin to put it here now i'll just use an actual real life coin um and then brighten a die these are both going to come up anyway um if i push this one up Maybe. Well, I guess influence when the game tips over around. All right, it's me. Cool. Well, I'm going to discard this lens to move this blue die up simply so that I get a blue influence as it crosses and I get a pip. Uh, that pip's going to go here. Now that allows me to place my worker here where I can spend this blue influence it's and I need it. to spend a coin so I can do that by exhausting um, one of these. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter too much, so let's do that one. And I get to take a blue die to my study, Ooh. and I get to advance two craftspeople. Well, you're going for the research. And, uh, I might, I might get the research still. Oh, still. I, I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. Because <laughs> I will get some research. Um, and let's just burn both my black influence. Drop one there and drop one here. 
It's going to give me a coin when I research. And let's do the reveal again. Two refreshes. Craftsperson bump. That's not as good. Um, refreshes could actually be amazing for me. But that last craftsperson bump is also good. This um, is great if you can tent first and then yeah, yeah. take this action again. Yeah. Which don't know if I'll be doing that. You've been you've tended to uh, first both times so far. So Yeah. Um I mean, this is basically a point per round that's two refreshes, which I might be needing to be honest. I might just do that one. Yeah, it's not bad. Alright. That's me done. Yeah, see now I'm torn. There's a lot of stuff I could do. Like I place my worker here. Um although it's looking pretty expensive to place a worker. I kind of like the idea of blocking of taking this black tent spot just to min max these influence again. I haven't been using extra camels, but I feel like for the last round that extra camel's gonna come in handy for someone. So what I'm going to do is I am going to place my tent. I get two coins, which is not bad. I have wasted these, um, most likely. Um, and I get uh, two, three arrows because I've got an unused worker. So three arrows. One, two. It's going to give me a refresh. And it's going to let me place an influence, which will go here. One more arrow, like that. And have I resolved everything? The dummy tent. I get the dummy tent. Cool. I think this is the play. Terrible play. Uh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. There's some options here. There are some options. I could actually milk the round and get to here. Which seems fun. All about fun. Um... No cards, sadly. Oh, and this brings one white die into here. Cool. I'm going to have to send out one of these dice to here to do it. I kind of want to do it, though. So I'm going to put my blue die here and just gain an influence. And black. That's me. Fantastic. Now I'm going to... There's a few options, actually. Hmm. Oh, I wonder, so did you get your benefit for not using that worker? Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah, we say arrows oh. for Brighton. That's what we used to always say all the time for playtesting. I get an yeah. arrow, I get an arrow, but then we thought we need an actual word for it. Um, so that's why we keep saying it. It's hard to break the habits of old terminology. Yeah, that's right. Like bumping My crafts bad. people and stuff, not raising a crafts person. I say it as well. Uh, okay, I've got two options. I'm thinking I could reset this and really hope to take that action again. Um, it's probably unlikely now that I've said it. And you're looking <laughs> like... I stopped saying it. You can't do anything. I don't think you can do anything. So with that in mind, instead, I'm going to place this orange die here, gain two coins, and gain uh, two arrows. Just realize what I did. I think I was looking at your board thinking I've got one worker left. Oh, <laughs> I'm not looking at my own board. That's why I did that. I thought I had a worker left over so I can get the camel. But that was your board. Ah, yeah. I see. All right. So, yeah, I think I am done. But, hey, that's all right. I'll get to be first player. I'll get that next round. So I'll place my tent. It's me a white die and too exhausted. And... I mean, this ain't bad. It's me to reach this spot straight away. Um, but how am I going on my dice colors the way? Not amazing for my goals. That's kind of my whole focus for this game. Get another die would be good. Um, but the downside of this one is that I actually get the worker straight away. The worker kind of gets wasted. So I think I will go here. Let's get yeah. colored die. Um, you do still keep first play with that, which is nice. I think I've got two of each now. I yeah, I do. So let's go, Greg, Chuck, because 
it's the one that has to be good and two brightons um let's just go coin then out and then all this stuff gets to trigger doesn't it get two refreshes yeah, um let's go one two then i get an influence and then i can spin influence to take a tile from behind me which uh it's probably this one well it's only gonna happen once maybe but i think i'm about to get two influence from there i think i will just gain i'll gain this then spend it basically so it's just a wash what am i doing here yeah gain influence and spend influence yeah doesn't go anywhere all right uh the other way is just to go for points that's the other option here why don't you take this one yeah uh and either advance towards getting my ship faster or just reset my costs which is probably the better play so let's go there be cool and hey it's two points all right yeah that's the end of the round um do our brightens i'm getting two charcoal influence that's huge oops that's the only one that's huge see having all those colors yeah that's really what helpful. i was hoping would actually work out in my favor we'll find out though uh these get rolled cool and, and then i, I have... can hit this button no, oh, no, no you've got this one here yep it comes back into here and now you can push the button all right um let's do this card yep oh, you got it cool with the ship four spaces one two three four you're doing the rest oh and this is the round where the camel costs more dang the round where we really really want it um try and eke out some more point scoring actions and then yeah two coins here and a brighton i guess i'll just so i push it up Tricky. and i get three coins in a brighton do i want the blue influence or do i want more dice coming in two brightens that is the yeah. question I think I'll just move two more dice out and let's just do these two. And I'm still first player. All right, final round. We just hit the um, hour 10 mark. So we all come in about 90 minutes for the game. Obviously, in person, we wouldn't be talking so much either. The all series. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. First turn. First turn. Well, that does seem like a pretty obvious first turn for me. So I'm going here. It's been one of each influence. When you get the worker back. Um, get huh. a coin. Yeah. And I could do that exact same okay. move. Maybe. This lets me get my worker back. And then I get a colored die into determined. And let's go with... I might just do gray so that I know I've achieved my four gray. Slash charcoal. Into here. Now I want to get two more blue and two more orange. Done. So I'm just thinking about being a little bit mean here. Fair enough. I'm thinking I could actually publish this. It comes with these two points and I do have two here. So it's worth four points to me and it denies, I assuming Shem would publish this. It denies that well, extra maybe. however many four points. Yeah. Maybe not. So, I am giving one point for publishing it, but I get two. And you gave me a coin so as well. I do give you a coin for that. Yeah. I, just weighing up if that's worth it or not. <laughs> You've been told in chat, do it. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> for you, Faraki, for you. All right. Let's do it. Um, I'm going to use this six here. I want to get some arrows back, I think. Maybe just one. And I think the cool thing is that this is going to progress my tower, which is nice, which will... Oh, oh yeah. okay, okay, okay. That's it's going to get me a worker back. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to progress my tower. Maybe I just pay the scribe and someone else, and then That's I true. save that yeah, for yeah. more opportune timing. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to pay um, seven coins all up. One to me. And one goes to you. Yep. That's expensive. Was it worth it? And we'll find out. I don't know. We will find out. Sam's got a lot of points over here, though, in his craftspeople. 
I've got um, a good amount of research. Get an arrow, which I think... Do I need more dice? I've got hopes and dreams. So too late, I think... Too late for that stuff. <laughs> hopes and dreams? <laughs> too late? Way too late. <laughs> okay. Fair <laughs> enough. No, that's it's nonsense. Me. All right. Onwards and upwards. Um... I could no, I couldn't just come back there. Oh man, what are we doing? What are we doing? Um, I could just run my line, get up and die. I know they'll get a die here anyway. I'm basically looking for four more dice. One, two, and could just get more out here. Or maybe from these immediate researchers if I get that far. So. Source at all. With no cards, that's a problem. So what I'm going to do is bring come out here. I'm going to spend an orange influence, pay one cards person to get an orange die and three cards. Um, so I need to spend to pay someone. Let's pay two coins. One, two. Get an orange die. And then three cards. And then I also from this swap a die. So let's swap this for, I'm just going to go for orange. Progress the tiles, which gets me a card and a Brighton. Now things are looking a bit prettier. Um, pretty, pretty. You like to see it. It's influence that I could just be milking right now. But, oh, I don't know if I need all these dice. Let's just push this up and get a blue influence because it's a one. So, all right, done. Okay, we're both looking kind of feeble on the influence front at the moment. Maybe that's going to change. Um, yeah, we're tired, tired. That could, that could be tired potentially. Yeah, but I'm so so tempted just to spend the dummy play also. Just to spend it. Really strong on two of them. Yeah, yeah. So we know that this is the final state for the dummy player. They're going to be it. So yeah. five is the one to beat for black and orange, for charcoal and orange. Oh, okay. There's a few good options here. I could do the same move that you did. Or I could go for another camel. But I can't do both. Let's do the same cool move that you did. Gain a coin. Press this. Get the ship. And it's open again. Uh, Three times. Yeah, in one it hour. is open again. And I'm gonna grab a blue die here. Man, this is tight race. Oh wait, it's not to my study, is it? It's just available. Boom. Yep. Lovely. All right. Now what? Now I can get one more die. Could just publish maybe. Actually, it's not a bad move. Yeah, let's publish. Um, make this a six. I'm tempted just to do another blue die for one more arrow, but that's kind of defeating the purpose a little bit. Um, I'm going to publish my robotic door because I've heard good things. I don't have to pay myself as the inventor, but I have to pay my scribe and someone else. So scribe's going to cost two. And for someone else, we use the blacksmith. So it's four, two, three, four. And we're going to place this here, get the royalty bump, which bumps someone else. Oh. Raise the carpenter. Advance this board. And then also, because I used a blue die, get one arrow. And honestly, I've got so many colored dice, I don't know what to do with them. Um, maybe let's just go for benefits, get a card. Could be useful. All yeah, right. nice, nice. This is getting tense because there's also a race for people that haven't played for us to get to the end of this. Uh, Tie breaks, yeah. Yeah, what do we call it? River track. <laughs> I've got the, the terminology. The get river. to the last spot, <laughs> the river. Um, yeah, they win the tie breaks for all the the guild majorities and the game. And at least beating the at least beating the dummy ship will win tie break versus them as well. But then each tile we remove makes it faster for someone else to jump ahead. To... That's, That's correct. Yeah. That's so what I'm going to do here, 
I, I keep spending my influence. It's it's terrible, it. but I need these coins. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. And I gotta spend a card. Should be the glider. Cool. And I'm gonna get three coins, four coins. A black die, which might actually end up mattering. And one arrow or a Brighton. Always got to steady cool. three again. <laughs> yeah, see a ship that's me. Off. All right. Um, Rogue. I think I, think, I think, think I want to invent. So you're going to use a six orange and an event here. I've got so many dice, I could just throw more and draw more cards. But I've, got, I've got five cards. I could draw one. I have to discard two. And I think I want that. So, well, this so is... feel free to ask us any questions in the chat. Um, we'd be happy to stick around for 10 or 15 minutes I've built if there's this questions for me but afterwards. Let's just go here, get an orange influence. We have the tipping pinhole camera. Okay, royalty, and then throw down one of these. That's a cool um, piece of art, the pinhole camera. Let's go here. And that is me done. Oh, I've just got two cards. Not cheating is the thing I haven't done. But let's throw these two away. Oh, actually, ooh, that's an arrow. Although, I don't know if I need the arrows. Definitely one of these. Let's do these two. All right. That's me. Okay. I've got a cool play here, I think. I think it's a cool play. Yeah. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Should build something. I'm thinking ahead. I'm going to use the six, which is gray. I think that's going to matter. And I'm going to need to discard this guy to refresh my weaver. I see what's happening. You see what's happening? Oh, yeah. Good. Gonna get I'm going to pay my message. weaver. And then they're going to go up one, and they get to advance two, one, two so i've triggered this now i can trigger this effect which allows me to move my boat which can grab this there's a lot of things to do when i advance i get a card and an arrow card and let's brighten this i have to spend a coin to place it here which i will do that's going to allow me to um Place a research here from that tile effect. So I will. You should do this um, one. Just, this one's great. Do this one. Color dice. Color uh, that one actually <laughs> is good for me because it means that I could score the blue and black it's thing fantastic twice. Fantastic for you. Yeah. Um, it is actually pretty good, but I'm going to do Although this. Although you can get a color die from placing a tile too, can't you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I'm going to place. Oh, this is tricky. And the blue guild. And then I get to take one of these, which I just want to go for points now. Uh, maybe this one, it matches the color. I'll grab a blue die to my study. And now <laughs> I keep on going. Some of these workshop actions <laughs> are involved. Together, because right? it's gray. Yeah. yeah, because it's charcoal, I've got those two left to do. I get a Brighton. There's the fun moments Ooh. towards the end of the game, though. It yeah. Popping yeah. Off. yeah. Get a lot of effects. And I think, man, this influence is probably going to matter so much, but this is more fun. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. uh, let's do that. All right. I've got two workers, one camel. Sounds like a joke. Um, I could just like grab research in here for fun and just forgo this kind of stuff. Is an option. Although, well, Sam just research is pretty good. Um, what are we gonna do? Actually, 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 
just thinking this through. Oh man, it's tough when you start seeing the combos become available. Well, since Sam published this, I'm not as invested in blue. So maybe I'll use a blue die and test. Maybe my last camo action though. Oh, do I want to build something still? Yeah, this this extra influence ended up mattering so much. Yeah, yeah it does, eh? Um, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. All right, I'll do that. Um, I won't explain myself, I'll just do it. So I'm going here. Um, I need another four. I think I'll probably just use... I'll use this one. Um, get four coins, a card, and a refresh. And let's just refresh the. Uh, doesn't actually matter. This one. And then pay an influence to research. And I think we'll spend this one and go here. Hey, you like that cost one. Cost me a nice. coin, but it gets me a coin back. Um, which I could afford to do. And then what's it doing? Oh, we've got a question this from part. Matthew. Um this uh this tile on my workshop board, or oh, you might not be able to see, but I've got a plus three on my um workshop row. Yep, I'm showing it. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so if he, as long as he has a one or more for any die basically he gets a plus three to this action. Is your audio still this? Sorry, Shem, that was mid your turn, I think. Yeah, right. I just. Or is it my turn? No, I'm just going to take a tile from behind me. I'm going to grab this one. Yep. I'm going to pay one coin. Which means I can then activate it. Although, in hindsight, yeah, nice. in hindsight, I wouldn't have refreshed this guy, I would have refreshed that one if I had half a brain. And then I'll pay this person three um, to go up here. That is yeah, my two points. Two points is lovely. Yeah, okay. So six coins would be required to do what I want to do. I think I do want to publish this. Even if it means I'm losing the boat race. I think it's just on that too good not to. Although my red isn't currently Red isn't actually at nine. Do it's I have only, a way to get it's it? Only at one nine? Away. Yeah. You might read. Oh, there's no more research out there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Actually, the the sequencing matters here. Ten research. Can you afford? Matters. Can you afford to publish? I'm a little bit scared, actually, if I test it, that you'll publish it. Uh. No, it's not good for me. Uh, you say that. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I'm just going to do it. Uh, can I afford to use this charcoal die? I can. Um, man, this is tricky. I'm going to ditch this to get a pip. And then I'm going to ditch this to get another pip. Oh, I don't need another pip. Ditching it anyway. All right. I'm going in. Thanks, Matt. It's going You're in. You're going to do it. He's doing it. Was that from your determined, that one? Yeah, it was. Yep. Sorry. It was from determined. Yep. Keep an eye on him. Tested, move twice, get your charcoal influence. Mm. And I can slot this here. Get a card. Yep. Done. Nice. All right. So he's opened up some research. Um, which I could grab at the cost of kind of two for me. Seems worried I'll publish that, but trash. <laughs> um, hey, what do you got against the flute? <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe in the flute. All right. I haven't tested my own device at all. So there's a points to test it, but it's losing a die. I need 
And I've got all, I've got all the dice for that one. That's done. I need two more blue dice if I want to score two more points on that, but that's only two points. I could. I haven't published twice. I've published once. It would almost be good to build. Um, I don't think I want to build, even though. Nah, I don't want to build. All right, so what am I doing? This is the question. I could just burn all my influence to get another camel, but then I'm not sure what I'd actually use the camels for. Um, if I did publish Sam's device, it's actually worth Here currently. We go. Currently, it's worth five points for me if I do it. Here we go. Oh, not a bad move. Um, so <laughs> maybe I should just do it. You know, you got to do yeah. it. Got it. Uh, I'd have to use this, or at least these two dice or something. And I do have this in hand, so I can refresh my scribe. Uh, <laughs> you <would have> told <laughs> you not. To. Told you not to trust him. Hey, yeah, it's all good. Boy, I didn't. I like to share it. my thought processes. I was like, <laughs> this is this doesn't seem viable as a product. Then you put this down. I was like, actually, it looks pretty good now. Like, yeah, I, like, I, like I, the I thought it dice. was making it too appealing. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> Uh, all right, I will increase this die by one. It's a well play tested product. Great design. That's right. Just That's looking for a home, a publisher, right? Do I want the? I don't know. Actually, yeah. Let's just use this as well. If I don't need to use an eight, I can use a six. But it means that I can um, pull up a die, which is going right. to be this one, which I might as well just do now. Pull it up and bump that, and then I'm going to pay Sam a coin. Have a coin, Sam. Thank you. And then sir. I need to do one, two, three, four, five. Do that by exhausting the Tyler. And I get to increase my royalty. So it's, oh, it's actually even worth two more points than I said it was worth. Seven points. Definitely yeah, worth doing. Sad. And yeah. then slide this along. And it basically gave yeah. no points to Sam. So oh, just a no. coin, that's it. Yeah, one point. Yeah. Cool. Done. Oh, and the bright and arrogant. Yeah, cool. Da -da. That's beautiful. Okay. Well, because you grabbed that, I can't let you have this first. I mean, it would cost you a lot. and You don't actually, maybe you can't afford it. But I want to grab it. So I'm going to do it. Grab a blue die. Uh, that just comes straight in here. Removes one of these. And let's have a look. Uh, sorry, it's going to bump these two. Which will give me a research. Ooh. Oh, please put that down for me. <laughs> I mean, that is, it is worth three points for me because I could yeah, remove true. this and I could trigger that. I get to see so points. it yeah. gets me half as much as this does, plus three points. It's also three points for you. They're all good. What's though. my likelihood of like them clearing everyone else? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do this one. That's kind of fun. Um that's gonna bump someone. That's good. Yeah. Is it two promo I'm gonna... oh, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, progress tower. So I also get a card and a Brighton. Oh, we need to shuffle all of them. And a Brighton. Hmm. Let's grab a all coin. Stuff to fire off. Oh, it's many resources, isn't it? It's yeah, like... it's not. It's not that yeah. flash, really. It's okay. Not that flash. All right. I've used all my blue dice. I kind of almost regret that now. Um. Because Sam has created some opportunities. Um. Oh man, it's tough. <laughs> oh, my blue dog was good here too. That was my way of getting out of. Oh, what have I done? I think I'm probably forgoing. Wait, no, one, two. I got my four. Good on that front. I'm just foregoing this one more than anything, I think. Still got two blue, so that's good. Uh, I'm real tempted though. Sam's still going strong. I'm going to do this. 
I'm going to pay all my influence to flip my last camel, just so I have options. Oh, the guilds have emptied. I know, nothing. The guilds else. have emptied. So now oh, man, getting get to the a, end here doesn't seem thing. like it's that good. Tiebreak doesn't seem like it's going to matter that much, but maybe it will. As far as I got a Brighton too, which could be important. I think I'll just get the black influence from it. Back in it. Put pressure on. Cool. Um, I really got to figure out a way of doing something. There's something I want to do. Win. I can't. Can't win. Figure out. Okay, yeah, there is there is a way. Yeah. Okay. What are you scheming up? So what I I'm thinking I'm thinking of building this this funnel here. I thought you'd like it. Yeah, I do like it. Um problem is I advanced my Chandler. So the Chandler costs four now. I should have advanced someone else. The other thing I'm thinking about is like just winning these guilds and maybe even maxing this out here or getting another research. Oh, this is tricky. I could test, I could test this trick dial. Problem is this only moves me one, so it doesn't actually end the track for me. But I could grab this. Is this handy at all? It's pretty handy. Mm, I could go there and then there with that if I trigger that. Maybe that's the play. Maybe that's the play. Hmm. Maybe my game is falling apart at the end. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All right. I'm going to do this and this. It's a blue influence, which maybe matters. Comes out here. At least you got tie break on the dummy player. Spend a coin. All right. And oh, that's actually, yeah, it's just one coin. And then I could advance the weaver. Who would have thought I needed to do that? But I did. And wait, that's all that happens? Yeah, I think. Yeah. You just tested cool. it right. Got your influence. And I advance this. Yeah. Cool. After your massive workshop tune last time. Is that it? Yeah, that's, yeah. That, that's <laughs> exactly. it. All right. Um, I think the play. Oh no, things have changed. Hmm. Or maybe I just wasn't watching. Nope. 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 Uh. Gosh. Man, um, got no money and no craftspeople. That's a problem. Nice. Nice for you. Yeah. And <laughs> almost no influence. Matt's got scholars set up on the table for a solo game. Nice. Hope you enjoy. Well, let's, uh... Man, I really screwed it up by using that blue dice up there. Blue dice was my way to get more dice. And I used my blue die. And I can't get blue die up here. Yeah. Testing a product after publishing. I mean, it's like working towards the second edition, right? <laughs> it happens a lot in our industry. Yeah, yeah. Patches. Balance <laughs> patch. And... Um, man, what am I doing? Uh, I do like that, but that would actually... Ah, oh, man. Oh, brain is finished. Um, oh. I don't know, Sam. It's too hard. It's too hard. Uh, <laughs> test one of your lovelies or build one of your lovelies. I know, that's kind of where I'm at. It's like I'm looking at testing. But I'd love to get to the end, but look what color we need. It's blue. And I used my blue. And now I need lots of blue. And that's not working out well for me. Um, mm. Yeah, you feel it. One blue comes from here. I yeah. don't know where the other one comes but from. But I need to get a blue. Oh, but you need a blue to do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you see the conundrum on that. All right. 
Um, I think what we'll do yeah. is we'll test um, this. Gets me an orange influence, which is, you know, I'll take it. And I'll get two spaces and have this. Now. You're breathing down my neck and I don't like it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, these two are both very nice options. And this also is kind of nice. I know I get a tile at the end, so I can basically pull off some Ooh, cool chains. It matters. Yeah. yeah. Putting it here means I can then get another one, which could put it there. Boom, boom. That there means I get research, which could be more ships and all sorts of stuff going on. It's just too much. I'm going to put it here. And just. Oh, did you see this blue, blue dye available as well? I did not, Man. but uh, yeah, that'll <laughs> be, that'll be great. That blue as well. I guess uh, no, it doesn't get me anything. It's funny. All right, done. All right, I think I am also going to throw caution to the wind and remove all my influence. It's a bit ugly. No, you're no I don't need to do that. There. I don't need to do that. It could be a camel right here. I can do it via this. Yeah, I can do it via that. Okay. I could take the research as the other option. All right, I'm going to go for ending, like the river being the first to the end. So with some forward planning, I want to have a blue because I want to take this or maybe this one less point, but the blue influence might matter. Okay. I'm needing 11 pips. I got six over here, so I just need one over here. So we can discard the helmet. That's fine. Right. Cool. So I get two coins, three coins. I get a pip. I can go over here. Another. Oh, I get a bunch of pips. Let's just make everything a six. That's fine. I get uh, some arrows, which I think will be... Um, Oh, I do want to get this black die out. So one, two. And now I get to do this cool thing, which I can take uh, one of these workshop tiles. I'm going to take this one, which will cost me two coins to place in. And that will advance my ship. And now I can take, uh, maybe I'll just take the two pointer and slot it in there and now because i've got blue when i've triggered this i can also gain a blue influence sam's getting the edge i think oh my th my misplay on the blue is hurting me um and the fact that i just have like nothing to work with i know i can do that but This battle for the influence yeah, and it's tight, extra it? actions and the finishing the river at the end of the game is delicious. This is why we made the game four rounds. It is quite long in four rounds um, at like higher play counts, but we find that the fourth round was always like the most exciting one. Yeah. Um, because you've built towards a whole bunch of different things and you're getting pulled in so many directions. Oh, why don't I have money? Oh, man. Um think i just need to go here sadly and all i'm getting is one influence just one influence um sam's at, oh he's got a worker oh man i don't like this at all wherever i go sam can block me from researching which he probably would See, the thing is i'm not even sure the research is worth it maybe it is maybe if the three of the four influence research comes out it's worth it I'm not doing that. I'm just going to cool. go here. Get two Brydons. Um, let's just bring this die way up here. And, well, make that a three. All right. Timing's your oh, this is This is tricky because we're both looking close to resting, uh, tenting. And that also seems to matter. Um, I kind of want to activate this top workshop just for the extra black influence. And these coins might be, that'll, that'll be a resource point. Um, I've got a worker to use, which could be a bait. Because using it is going to cost at least two influence. 
um, that could be a bait, but I'm really tempted just to see what this this research will be. So I'm going to do this. Um, yeah, I'm going to do it. Uh, which of these? I'm going to. I guess I'm going to ditch orange for now. Although this is pretty good for Shem. Maybe that extra tie is good. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm. I'm. I'm still doing this. Being greedy. I'm going to research. Let's see what we get. Move ship. There oh. it is. That's the one I wanted. All the influence. But I could just follow um, you with I, that, right? So. I I have to place it here. Yeah. 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 Okay. You can just follow exactly. Um, and I think I will put the two. One of the guilds gets two. I think I will put it in orange. Cool. Tense. It's so tense. All right. I can play this card um, to bribe a die, which can give me a black influence. Now I can go there and spend that influence. One's going there, one's going to come out here somewhere. And I also ditch a card, which will be. Oh, actually, yeah, both of those are sick for you. Well, even somewhere else might be. I don't know. Yeah, or, or this. Yeah, true. I mean, I'm out of workers, so the influence can't be used. But How many blue dice do you need? This could be a way of getting a blue die as yeah. well. Uh, mm. Well, let's get my coin for my research. And then this is basically four points and an influence, which I think is better than just that one. I think. Because Sam's got a good lead now on this one. He's got minor lead on that one. But I do have this at the end. Like, and kind of pivot out, I guess. But I guess I want to have one. In there. Um, and then what else is potential in here? There's dice stuff in that one. There's probably stuff I've already seen too. Um, you do get one more. Yeah, you're going to get one more when you rest, when you tend. Yeah. One more research. So I think I'll go here for the surprise first. Let's go. Camel, I can't use. Oh. Writings, which, nah, it's going to be the die one. So basically, get two colored dice, so that's good. Um, that's sick, yeah. I want to use the blue one. What was I thinking? Um, swap a die out. Well, this one is going to become a three. Should I screw this up? One, two, three. Did I use an orange before? All right, let's see one. I think I did use an orange. So let's make sure we have that. And then I get to do the classic. So let's put a blue. Actually, let's make that one. Let's do that one. Let's put the orange in the study. All right. Done. Okay. I think. I have no idea what I did, but I researched. Do I tent or do I take one more action? I think I'm going to take another action. I'm going to ditch two cards. I don't have an arrow in any of my cards, a Brighton. So I'm going to ditch two cards just to gain an arrow. And that's going to allow me to move this up, which gets me a charcoal influence. And then I'm going to take this action for another charcoal. The refresh again doesn't matter for me. Um, but... gets me well that gets me well ahead maybe it wasn't worth it but that's that's me yep oh man so much that could happen eh <laughs> yeah but this is actually probably the best play because so i can get a tile put it there and then when i rest i can put a tile here and then put it here so i think i'm tenting yeah fair call I'm going yeah, cool. And if you take nice. from behind me or I can move. Moving's not well actually I think I have to move. There's nothing else to take from behind me. Luckily I do have a card. It was close. <laughs> it's got nothing. Yeah, true. Um and then I'm paying one coin to put it here. I have one coin. Oh me. 
tight on money. I got two refreshers. Oh, this could be like absolute perfection. We'll find out. <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> pushes us up, which lets me um come back. Oh, not perfection. Nice. I get a card. Almost perfection. I would not take it so it looks cooler. And then I get another card from this. Oh, man. Although, the blue guild, you're on five, I'm on two. Ooh. Oh, hello, uh, French friend. Sorry, I can't pronounce your uh, Le Reset Ludique, maybe. Um, that's it's awesome to see you commenting. I'm glad that you enjoy this game. Really appreciate it. All right. We won't be we won't uh, be at yeah. Essen this year. I'm done. I don't think so. I'm not oh, sure. Maybe. Maybe we will. Would love to see you at Essen if we are there. All right, I'm done. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, I, oh, you oh, no, sorry. No, you, all my tenting stuff. I think right? you need to do your tent stuff. And oh, my goodness. Tent. It's yeah. still going. All right, refresh these two. Um, I have to take... I just gain influence and spend an influence. Um, I think it's a definite lo no to Gen Con. Um, I'm basically we're gonna going to... Gain a blue. Modena play in Italy in May, and then I am going to be at PlayCon in Sydney in July. So I don't think Gen Con will happen yeah. this year. Place in blue, then spin from orange. So just go sideways. Take this tile. And then use the two craftspeel I just refreshed to place it here. And then take this tile. Empty that bar to research. Now you get your cool turn. And your very last turn of the game is I don't think I can win these. So it's kind of pointless. So I could put two in orange, I guess. But then Sam gets to respond. Although, you're out. You're done, aren't you? You are done. I'm done, so, mate. You have cards, though. You could get a Wild Influence Fusion card. Um... Great idea. Oh, you're, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm going to do the whole go for points you know you've got rather than try and hope for points. Just go here um, to burn this tile, which lets me refresh. Two people. And it gives you an influence, actually. Oh, it so, does. That's pretty nice. Thanks for that. Um, you're right. So. Oh, man. There's also second place to consider, but I don't think I'm near that either. So I'll just go in here. So you did all of these, yeah? Oh, yeah, I've done all of them. Yeah. Cool. You get to place the pink tent now. I do. Another decision. Um... What does Sam want? He, I mean, he'd love to just bump stuff because that's his whole thing. But it's only two points. Getting a research for him might be useful. It's two points at least as well. He's already controlling. No, you're actually coming second place in this, aren't you? Let's go there. All right. Cool. Nice. Um, all right, I'm going to tent. Um, I don't need to come here because I'm at seven black uh, charcoal. So it's between these two. This one is just worth two points. I don't think I need any more advances. My weaver's at nine and my lowest is above seven. So I don't need them. So that's worth two points. I think what I can do is I can take this one. I can afford to lose these two charcoal influence because I'm winning the tie break versus this dummy player. And then I can research... Um, well, I could go for two points out here. Or even three. Or I could go for this, which is probably also just two points um, because of the... I could get two black dice, which I meant four blue. So we that get also two and a benefit kind of or three. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might just go with for this because it's it seems cool to maximize my scoring on this trip dial. So let's do it. Um, so that's going to put my influence here and it's going to get me, that's going to become gray and that's going to get removed and be gray there, charcoal there. And I do need only four of each and I think I do have four of each. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Man. That's game. Now we that is game. two seconds scoring it. Yeah. Uh, we won't be at Gen Con this year. All right. Turn the honors. I think you've got this.
Oh, that's close than I thought it'd be. You've got I've it. I've got it. 86. You've got it. There's a big point well spread here, I guess. Flip. Yeah. That felt tight. That was tense. All right, should we go through Very it so tense. you can see? So Sam's got, I only got four points for they won the blue one, lost everything else. Uh, Sam's got nine on the guilds. This is a big jump for me, 10 versus one. So it's a big part of my score. And also my research, 16 to seven. But I mean, Sam yeah. like almost doubled my craftspeople. That's huge. Um, I think you um, publishing the flute as a bit of a swing did a lot. Would have helped you. Yeah, a lot. yeah, yeah. Uh, we're pretty tight on um, scoring our tiles on our board, and then inventions. That was also a big point thing for me, getting all all six out. Sam just had the three there. Um, this is points from tested dice on our devices. That's eight versus nine, so very similar. And we're both 12 for our devices. So I think we're both perfect one and then had second place another one. No, you had, you had three perfect, was it? Yeah. Yeah, which I had perfect. one perfect twice. And then, um, wait, I didn't even notice. I didn't even think about that at all. Oh, I failed that one, did I? Oh, no, I got two points from it. Wow. Funny. I kind of forgot that I'd published that and didn't think about it. But oh well. Oh, I made a misplay. <laughs> I didn't do your cool move. <laughs> uh, that's my bad. Um, oh, playing us two I should, have, I should have done this thing, I think. Would it swing anything, though? I think it, does, it, it doesn't matter, but right. I think I might have won blue. Five versus... <laughs> I got six. So that would have been what? I would go down to three? Yeah, yeah, it would have been a well <laughs> misplay. You know. So bad. <laughs> Should we see what happens? If well we done, do? man. Should we see what happens? No, nah. we oh, why not? No, no, no. Okay, okay. I <laughs> uh, get one more. What is what's Sam of one if he hadn't have done that? Oh, sorry, drop yeah. it in. I don't even tie anyone. One, tie and then one of the <laughs> I had it. I had it. Oh, so close. Sam would play the card, but you yeah. know, that's how close nah, it was, though, good. right? That's good. Super close. I was like even like considering just throwing two cards and bump this up to hopefully get one more bump. Um, oh, actually, I would have had one less resource though. I would have had to do this. Oh, true. Oh, play around. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, coins. That has been a lot of fun. I don't know about you guys, um, but that was really, really like a whole meal of a game for us. Yeah. Um, super interactive I felt like constantly assessing what you could do who had timing and tempo to kind of compete with different stuff and we got in each other's way a little bit and this dummy player it was super minimal in terms of admin but this pink tent like felt like it ended up mattering a fair bit um, who got to pass first and stuff yeah you had the tempo and all the tent placements for the first three rounds which was like blocking me yeah out. yeah yeah Nice. That was fun to actually do. I don't often invent that much, but in round three, you weren't doing it. So like it was basically it's a very cheap action because you're not yeah. paying coins. So I can just throw them out quickly. Got a lot of immediate benefits off those. And then yeah, getting yeah. that last one. We both had that nice final round chain. If I hadn't achieved that, I think, yeah, the game was yours. Just like hitting those last little research spots and stuff. Yeah, super yeah. nice. Getting all those royalties bumps was lovely starting to get into those big points oh, yeah good fun. fantastic hey thanks so much everyone for yeah, for watching <laughs> if you um if you don't mind can you just hit the thumbs up button just so that more people can see this video um it just takes no no time at all just to click that button um but thanks for hanging out um i don't know if there's any other questions in the chat not that Doesn't i've look seen like it. yeah no but thanks for tuning in and um yeah that was real good fun all right. Pixar is going for another week and a half, I think. Um, all these questions coming in now. There you go. Awesome. Mathieu has asked, are there plans for expansions to the South Tiger series? Yes, there are. And in fact, we've started working on them and they're coming along nicely. Um, I think the plan, are we allowed to say what the plan is currently, Shem? What plan? The plan is to release them all together. Yeah, we've um, that, an, expansion yeah. for each, yep. an expansion for each game. Um most likely we'll announce that maybe the start of next year or the end of this year. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, the plan is to do yeah, one for each plus the saga box. 
all in one Kickstarter. So it's like there's um, there's shipping costs for you guys, less like logistics for us of shipping stuff and running campaigns and drip feeding expansions over you know years. So you'll be able to basically get whatever expansions you want in that one Kickstarter, which will be interesting. I mean, we've done that before, like a almost like a shopping cart where it's like oh, I want this one and this one, but not not the other one or yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, so there's the same question, kind of, why SJ and not Sam? <laughs> um, well, when we first made uh, my like design credit on Board Game Geek for Architects of the West Kingdom, um, it said that I was Sam McDonald II. Well, it had like brackets II too, and that was just how their website works. There was another Sam McDonald that had worked on a game at some point, well, the but I'm not Sam McDonald II. <laughs> yeah, exactly, and I'm not Sam McDonald II. Um, and so I thought, well, if it's good enough for J.R. Tolkien, um, yeah. I can just go with, with JR. SJ instead. Because BGG is kind of um, everything, right? <laughs> it's the database that a lot of us are on that matters a bit. Um, so I don't mind being called SJ McDonald. Yeah. we got a lot of SJs and JUSs at Garfel. Yeah. Nice. All right. I think we'll leave it there. It's um, two hours coming up. So thank you yeah. for tuning in. Well played, Shem. Good I win. Well played you too, sir. Well played. I was it was a surprise win for me. I think the, the power of the colored dice helped me out in the end. But yeah, it's great. All right. Thank you all. Um share it around. Let people know it's available. Um and we'll uh catch you later. Bye. Appreciate you guys. Bye. <laughs>